Hi, thanks for joining me today. Do you find that you are disappointed as a step parent? That you've got perfectly reasonable expectations and somehow or other these aren't met? What should you do? I post once a week, so subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and I'll let you know every time I post. I sometimes wonder whether or not disappointment and expectation are always linked. Can you be disappointed if you aren't expecting something? So if your expectations are nil, is the chances of your being disappointed nil? But certainly expecting something, however within your rights to expect it, leads to the potential that actually it won't happen and therefore you can get disappointed by it. And this is very relevant in a step family because our expectations can be assumed. We can assume that the children will know how to behave and then when they're not, you get disappointed. So as a step parent, it can be really useful to remember this when you find yourself disappointed. Have a look at what's going on and where your expectations are. You can then set about doing something differently. Now, it has to be said that step parents in this situation often at this point become quite indignant. Well, how can that be an unreasonable request or an expectation for this to be happening or that to be happening or of course people should know this? And a lot of the time what we're dealing with here is family culture, how people do things in different houses differently and different families all do things differently. And what's acceptable in one family doesn't matter in another one. And so you're dealing with all these different levels of expectation. Now, there's a couple of things you can do if you're finding that, you're, that you've got an expectation that isn't being met. Number one, you can have a look and change your expectation. You can think to yourself, well, actually, there's no really good reason why my expectation is that. It's historic, it's what I'm used to, but actually, I can make a decision that it doesn't matter anymore, or that I'm prepared to accept it differently. And it's just a way of sort of, the expectation has just then flagged up that this is an expectation of yours, and you can change it. And the other way to deal with an expectation in a step family is to educate. And what can often help is to educate in anticipation. So, you know, if something's about to happen and you think it may not work out because people might be unaware of what they should be doing or what should be happening, then it's worth always running through with your step children exactly what your expectation of something might, might be so you're not disappointed. The good thing too about running through it in anticipation is that the, the step children can actually step up to your expectation without letting you down first. So if they know the expectation is to do a set number of things or for things to be a certain way, then they're quite usually happy to oblige you, especially if you acknowledge their effort and appreciate the expectation that they've then met, then they feel good about that. And things can be, it can be used to go from strength to strength. Whereas sometimes if your expectations aren't met and you end up being disappoint, disappointed, they can read that in you. So anticipating whether or not your expectations are going to be met or not is quite a good thing to try and do in a step family. Now, where, um, where is this most likely to go wrong? Well, 
It's most likely to go wrong when maybe you're entertaining and your expectations of how should people should be behave if they're the hosts or as guests to somebody else's entertaining. Um, that can be an area where you have expectations of what a good guest looks like. It can be to do with Christmas, um, where you know you've got expectations about what's going to happen and how it's going to happen, and that's worth thinking about. But also other big events like holidays, how 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 people are going to behave, how we're going to have fun, what are, what are people going to do in their downtime, how they're going to amuse themselves. I mean, is it okay to listen to loud music? Is it okay to stay in your pyjamas all day? Is it is it okay to eat with your fingers or on the sofa when, you know, you're in holiday time? I mean, it's it's these kinds of things that can just really irritate if your expectations aren't being met. And it's so unfortunate because often if these are established beforehand and together, then it can be a complete opposite of dis disappointment. It can be a bonus. So if you're finding yourself disappointed or let down, have a look at what those expectations in you are and then decide whether it's something you can change or release as an expectation, or whether you're going to educate, preferably in anticipation of the event, so that in fact you have the opposite of disappointment. You can actually just really be pleased that people are meeting your expectations and say so. So, sort out your expectations and you won't be disappointed. We run workshops, sessions, an email response service, and we write booklets. Look on the description box below for links to our social media and website. <laughs>